Edgar Allan Poe was one of the most respected horror writers in history. Because horror is a marginalized genre, it's very rare for horror writers to be included in the ranks of the, quote, great American writers. That would be those that are included in the literary canon whose works are considered worthy of study for their literary merit. But Poe is so highly respected that his works are included in textbooks and anthologies studied by everyone from seventh graders to doctoral candidates, and literary critics worldwide continue to study his works and discover new approaches. The source for this presentation is Alan Lloyd Smith. According to literary critic Alan Lloyd Smith, Poe was a rationalist and generally didn't deal with the supernatural in his works. Although the supernatural is suggested at times in his writing, it's rarely a main focus, Lloyd Smith states. But Lloyd Smith adds that when the supernatural is suggested in Poe's works, it usually ends up being explained as the delusions of a narrator who's descending into madness. Instead of focusing on the supernatural, Poe's works deal with extreme states of consciousness and states of mind that are either death-like or have the intensity of nightmares, Lloyd Smith explains. Often, the stories demonstrate morbid introversion in which characters, particularly narrators, are closed in on themselves and focus on the workings of their minds to a detrimental extent. Lloyd Smith points out. For example, the narrator in The Telltale Heart appears to be almost compelled to tell his story as a way of explaining and justifying his mental state. But although Poe tends to avoid dealing with the supernatural elements that are so common in European Gothic literature, it does often include other Gothic elements, Lloyd Smith notes. European Gothic elements are particularly noticeable in Poe's descriptions of settings and architectural features. For example, the Labyrinthian catacombs in Casco Amontillado. Another element of European Gothic that is particularly prevalent in Poe's works is an atmosphere of mystery and suspense. Poe didn't write longer works such as novels, and he's known for having the goal of setting a dominant impression in each of his poems and short stories. And he often uses metonymy of gloom by including references to shadow, darkness, death, and decay. Well, I think that gives us a little background in the general nature of Poe's works. Of course, if you have any questions, you know all you need to do is email me through Canvas. We'll get together soon to discuss the post stories that we read for this week. In the meantime, I hope you have some time to enjoy yourself.